Hey, it's Franco again. We completed another Samsung Hilux installation. This is a 1800 square feet home here in Streamwood, Illinois. Let's take a look at the setup and the unit. So here's our outdoor unit. We have our Samsung Hilux heat pump. Very popular unit nowadays. One of the things that make this unit really popular is that it's what is called a universal heat pump, which means it can work with existing refrigerant piping and wiring, just two wires which makes this unit super versatile. It can be installed pretty much in any building. But this is a variable speed heat pump from Samsung. It's a side discharge unit. So the fans blow to the side. This particular unit has a certified efficiency of 18 CR2 and a COP for heating of uh, three, over three. So this unit replaced uh, basic older conditioning that was sitting right here. It's substantially more quieter this is in the 50 decibel rating versus the traditional air conditioning that was 74, 73. But this unit, it's doing the heating of the building most of the year. Then we do have a gas furnace inside. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But again, some of the highlights of this unit is that it's a variable speed compressor, which means the unit is gonna be adjusting the amount of heating and cooling it provides based on the outdoor temperature and the homeowner setting at the thermostat to provide much more consistent temperature management, uh, stable room to room, time of the day to time of the day with minor swings uh, in comfort. Uh, both summer and winter, that variable speed technology is gonna provide very stable temperatures. These units are typically up to 40% more efficient for cooling than a traditional single speed unit as the unit doesn't need to turn on and off constantly. Uh, it's more of highway driving. And when the temperature outside is not extremely cold, this unit will be more efficient than your gas furnace and provide much better heating than the furnace can take over as needed. In this case, we installed the unit in a stand and the pad to get it off the ground above the snow line. And that's the generator we installed earlier this year, but that's our Samsung heat pump. Let's take a look at the inside. We're gonna take a look at the furnace. We'll take a look at the thermostat control system. But before we do that, if you're liking the content and my videos, subscribe to the channel and give me a like. So we're in the basement. Here's our gas furnace. It's a Lennox gas furnace. This was existing. At this time, we just installed the new heat pump and the coil. Let's take a quick look at the system setup. So this is a single stage furnace, which is a good reliable furnace, just not the most consistent in temperature management. So one of the reasons to go with the heat pump system is to improve heating comfort because the heat pump is doing most of the heating by heating the coil above the furnace. All the furnace has to do is run the blower and distribute the heat created by the heat pump, which is again, variable speed heating, which results in much more consistent, consistent even temperatures through the entire house most of the year. So we installed a new coil to match the outdoor unit, but the key of this system that makes it feasible to install in most buildings is what Samsung developed, the Samsung Hub, which only needs two wires to go outside. And all the wiring that's needed is done internally, which there's no problem to run wires. Uh, and then we also added a humidification system that's automatically controlled by our Lennox thermostat, which we'll take a look in a second. Uh, and the thermostat has the ability to program when we want to heat with the furnace, when we want to heat with the heat pump. Let's take a quick peek at that thermostat. So here's our thermostat. This is the Lennox iComfort E30, which is the thermostat we typically recommend for this system. Let's go over some of the main features and highlights. So let's start with the cool stuff. This thermostat has screen savers, high definition screen savers. So it's gonna show an animation of the current weather. So today it's a little cool, 55 degrees, but it's sunny. So we see an animation of a sunny day. If it was raining, it'll be raining on the thermostat. If it was snowing, it'll be snowing on the thermostat, which is just super cool. Uh, you can also upload pictures from the phone app and have the thermostat display any pictures you want. And on top of that, the thermostat just looks really, really cool on the wall. Makes it look really, really special. But let's go through what really matters, which is how it works. The thermostat is gonna show us current status. So right now the system is heating and it's showing us what is heating with. Ambient lockout is referring to the heat pump. What that means is the furnace is currently locked out and not running, and the heat pump is heating the house. I just increased the temperature for uh, three degrees higher just to make sure the system is running for the video. 
uh, they normally keep it at 70, 71. But if we go to modes, when it's using the furnace, it's going to be showing us emergency heat, which is the furnace heating. So not only you can easily adjust the temperature, a very nice user interface, but you see the outdoor temperature, which is measured by a sensor outside, so it's accurate to the location. But also if we tap on the temperature, you get a complete weather report, which is nice. And the other big thing is this makes any humidifier fully automatic. The thermostat monitors indoor humidity and outdoor temperature, and you're able to adjust the temperature, I'm sorry, the humidity, right from the thermostat. Right now we have it set at 45%, which is pretty typical. However, it's not dry enough for the humidifier to run. The other really cool thing that we can do is we can tell the system how we want the heat pump or the furnace to operate. That's called the balance point. So what balance point means is at what temperature we want the system to heat the house with the heat pump and at what temperature we want the system to heat with the furnace. In this case, we currently have it set at 517 for minimum five, maximum 17. So what that really means is that when the temperature outside is 17 degrees or higher, our heat pump will be responsible for heating the house. When the temperature is between 5 and 17, the system will try to use the heat pump, but if it can't keep up because it's too cold, it'll switch to the gas furnace. So it will kind of decide on its own. And if it's anything under 5 degrees, only the furnace will heat the house for efficiency. And this is fully, fully customizable. Most people change it over time, see what they like, see how the house performs. But this particular heat pump from Samsung is capable of producing efficient heat down to minus 13 degrees. For our climate, in the 17 to 30 degree range is pretty typical, but the thermostat makes it really easy to change all these parameters. Plus it's paired with a really nice mobile app that allows you to change all these things. So guys, that was another Samsung Hilux installation. Super cool systems, we do a ton of them. If you're interested in a similar system and you live in the Chicagoland area, please shoot me an email. My email is in the description. Drop me a comment, I'll be happy to answer any questions. I'll provide you a quote if you'd like to. Through the end of the year, there's rebates as much as $4,900 for a system like this. Uh, and at the end of the year, and if you like the content, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video.